After the mud bath, we are actually going to the waterfall, okay. which is the Torali waterfall. This is the big waterfall where you actually swim under. Okay. And then after the waterfall, we are also see in the botanical garden. Yeah, cocoa, yeah. Okay. They use for chocolate. This is cocoa, you could see there. You could see this yellow pod right here. Uh -huh. That's a cocoa pod. Uh -huh. When you open it up, the seeds are inside. You lay the seeds out to dry. And when you pong it out, you make the cocoa stick. Okay. Oh. And they make the hot chocolate. Oh. So this is where chocolate originally comes from. Okay. Okay. Wow. This fruit you are seeing to my right, this green fruit here, this is breadfruit. Oh, oh breadfruit. Yeah, bread, I've heard bread, of it. It's breadfruit. They make breadfruit balls. Oh. It tastes like um, sweet potato. Oh. Yeah, breadfruit. Yeah. Oh, wow, I've heard of it. Yeah, sounds good. So now we are coming towards the volcano, which is the sulfur spring. Okay. It is known to be one of the world's drive-in volcano. Okay. The unpleasant smell you'll be taking in the air it is sulfur, uh, H2S, yeah. hydrogen sulfur. It's on a low concentration, only five parts per million, which is very good for sinus problem. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's what we have. Yeah. Sinus it smells issue. like sting bombs, eh? <laughs> percent of people who comes in here they come over to do the uh, mud bath uh. and there is people living up here about 40 50 people who live there yeah. uh, these people they live around the volcano they do a lot of farming we are inside the volcano now guys we are oh, now wow. driving inside Oh, wow. Over to my left, you see there is 21 bubbling pools there. Oh, I so see. So we are inside the volcano. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what's left after it erupted in 1766. That was the last eruption. Oh. That's how the town of Sufre got its name. What does yeah. that mean? Sufre means sulfur in the air. Oh. It was the first capital of the island in 1746. Oh. But Sufred was destroyed when the volcano last erupted in 1766. Oh. It is the oldest town on the island. Oh. 12,000 people living in Sufre. Now, the name of the volcano is called a caldera. Okay. Caldera meaning a collapsed crater. So right now we are at a volcano and we're going to get mud baths. I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's raining. Hopefully it subsides. Currently inside of a volcano. Literally on the inside.
now you are going down to the uh, mud bath area. Okay. You're going down the steps into the water. <laughs> it's nice and hot. Yeah. yeah. It's a jacuzzi. It's got to be hot. Simon says you got to get wet. You got to go down. Okay, so Simon says now you are actually at the mud bar. This is coming actually from the uh, volcano. Okay, so Simon says you're now at the mud bath area. Get all over, letting it dry on you for five minutes. Next step, you gotta get back in the water, and then you get it. Yeah. How does it feel? Nice and soft, eh? Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right, good. All right. Good. We're just leaving the the sulfur mud bath hot springs. Ooh. And uh I feel so relaxed. My skin is so soft. And now we are headed to a waterfall. The diamond waterfall. Wow. The different colors. So we're just leaving the waterfall and it's so so pretty. The whole garden. So we're just trying this drink called, uh, what's it called? Rum punch. Local rum punch. Ooh, it's strong. It's really strong. <laughs> it's strong, but it tastes pretty good. Yeah, it's good. What? It's, you, it's too late. The puton. And yeah, it was like you can see the water really good. Like, uh, no more drinks for you. No, for you. <laughs> I'm okay. Why, well, you barely took a sip. 
This is a restaurant we go to every day. It's called Petit Piton. And you can see a view of the Piton, but we can't see it from where I'm standing. But you can see the ocean, it's so pretty. The Caribbean ocean. While you eat.